In this video, we're going to take a look at the concept of pages in WordPress. And this is where your content's really going to start to come together. Right now, what we have is basically a blog, which is an archive page with some posts. But once we get pages, then we start to build out a website. Now, a page is different from a post in that pages aren't really tied to a point in time. A journal entry is for a specific day or a specific time. A page is just there. Now, one of the first things we're going to do is build a home page and then move this news to a news page. Let's take a look at how to do that. Here in the admin area, on the left, there's a pages section. It comes with a sample page, which we're not going to use. So I'm simply going to click Trash. So now, let's click Add New, and we'll make a home page. And I'm simply going to save it and come back to it later. We know we want two pages at least, Home and News. And there we are. Now we have two pages. And here on the Pages Admin Archive, we can do things very similar to our posts. Edit, Quick Edit, Trash, and View. We can see the author. We can see how many comments there are and when it was published. But WordPress has a special way of making this the home page and this the news page. We're going to go under Settings, Reading. And right here, you can choose front page displays, a static page, and the posts page is news. And we'll save changes. And there we are. Now, when we reload the home page, we get that. And if we go to slash news, we get our archive. Now, you may recall that we didn't put anything on the news page. And indeed, we cannot. Once we set that page as the news archive, the blog takes it over, and it doesn't matter what we put on that page. But now we have this home page, and we need to decide what to put on it. So let's go back to our pages. And here you can see that this is the front page and this is the posts page. So now I'm going to edit the home page, and we'll put some content on it. I'm going to put a picture at the top of our city. This is the media library, and we're going to go over it in much greater detail in another video. But for now, you'll be able to see that we can upload files and give them a name. We're going to put in some alt text. We'll put in full size and insert into page. And there we are. Now we have a picture, and now let's get some text to put on there. And now we have some text. If we click Update, and then Reload, you can see this beautiful cityscape and some text. Now part of the text here is that you can visit the aquarium, the zoo, and the museum. So let's make some pages for those. And again, I'm just going to hit publish rather than putting in content right now because we can go back and put in content whenever we wish. Now note that similar to posts, you have a permalink right here. And it's based off the title. So now let's go back to the home page and we'll edit. Now let's highlight Aquarium and click the link here. We'll go to Link Options and choose the Aquarium page. And there we are. And we'll do the same for Zoo. 
and the same for the museum. And now you can see why it's handy to have all the pages built out, even if there's no content on them yet. Because as you pour content into them, you can be linking to the other pages. We'll click Update and Reload. And now we can click on Aquarium. And there's our Aquarium page. And we could fill this page with pictures and text about our aquarium. And the same goes for the zoo and for the museum. Now I pointed this out a few minutes ago, but take a close look at the URL. It's very short and very easy to understand. Anyone could look at this and realize that they're looking at the museum page. People love that and Google loves that. So try to keep your page titles short and sweet and descriptive. Let's take one more look at some of the features of pages. They're actually a fair bit simpler than posts. They have far fewer options under screen options, fewer columns, and fewer things you can do to this archive. But they also have some things that posts cannot do. For example, you can have page templates. You can have archives, a page blog, and a page showcase. We'll take a look at those in another video. But they format your content a little bit differently. They can also have order, so that you can numerically order them. So you have a number one page, a number two page, etc. And some themes use this for navigation, but others do not. So be sure to check your theme and see if it's needed. Similar to posts, we can have custom fields, discussion, comments, slug, and author, and those work exactly like posts that we covered in the earlier video. Aside from that, pages are really quite simple. They're not intended to be great big complex things. And yet, you can put plenty of information on there. You can put photos and text and links and video and all of that, just like a post. By the time we're done building our WordVille site, we'll have a complete set of filled out pages.